to this class. Here we want to solve this problem. And let's expand what we have here. We can say this is x squared minus y squared equals to expansion of this give us x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. And uh, from here, we can see that x squared we cancel x squared. So x squared, x squared on this side, gone. So we are left with minus y squared. Yeah, which is equal to minus 2xy plus y squared. So let's bring, let's try to bring minus y squared to this side and take minus 2xy to this side so that we have something like 2xy now because minus here has become plus, then equals to y squared, then plus y squared. When minus come here, become plus. And here we can write it as 2xy equals to 2y squared. And from there, we have what is on this side. We can also take it to this side now. So that we now have 2xy minus 2y squared, which will give us 0. Then what is common here is 2y. We can factor 2y out from here. And when we factor 2y out, we have 2y into bracket. What is left here with x? Then minus y. So y is left here, then equals to 0. So when we equate each of these to 0, because they multiply, we can now say 2y is equal to 0. Or we have x minus y is equal to 0. Then from here now, we can divide both sides by 2 to get y. So y equals to 0 divided by 2 and y is equal to 0. 0 over 2 is 0. Then from here, we can say we have our x is equal to y. Why we take minus y here? So s equals to y. And since y equals 0, that means s equals to 0 as well. So we have s equals to y and equals to 0. So we have this solution, which is our solution here. Also, we can solve that in another way. And we can say from x squared minus y squared equals to x minus y all squared. We can write this one as difference of two squared. And we have x plus y multiply by x minus y that's difference of two square which is equal to on this side when something is square like for instance we have two square it means two times two or we have three square that's just equals to three times three so also we can write this one twice and say this is x minus y multiply by x minus y and uh, from here one x minus why we cancel each other here? We have x minus y cancel x minus y. That is one we divide through by x minus y. So we then have x plus y is equal to x minus y. Also, we can say that x cancel x here, subtracting x from both sides. So we are left with y equals to minus y. And by the time we take minus y here, that's y plus y will be equal to 0. y plus y equals 0. That's 2y equals to 0. Also, we can divide both sides by 2 from here to get y equals to 0. And uh, now let's check if the solution satisfied. Let's put s equals to 0 here to test whether s equals to 0 satisfied. So when we put s equals to 0 from here, in this equation is going to become 0 squared minus y squared then equals to what we have on this side will become 0 minus y squared so we put x equals to 0 here now so here now 0 squared is still 0 so we have minus y squared then equals to what is inside this bracket here is Going to be just minus y so this minus y now then squared so that will give us we have minus y 
squared equals to on this side minus square is plus then we have y squared that's plus y squared so we can take minus y to this side and say this will remain zero here equals to y squared plus y squared so we are going to have zero equals to two y squared so we are going to have zero equals to two y squared divide both sides by two we are going to have y squared two cancel two that's y squared now equals to zero then we can square root both sides take the square root on both sides so that we have y left here then equals to square root of zero is t zero that means y equals zero so when we put x equals zero we get y equals zero then let's also put y equals to zero from here we can also substitute y equals to zero to check for y equals to zero so put y equals to zero here so this becomes x square minus zero square equals to x minus zero then squared and from there we can see that this will give us here we have x square left minus zero gone that's equals to here too we have x left inside the bracket that's x square now they are both equal on the you know left and the right side that means y equals zero also work now let's now test putting x equals to y putting x equals to y that is anywhere we see x we put y from this equation now we can replace x with y such that that equation will then give us y squared minus y squared then equals to also we have y minus y because x is y then squared so here y square minus y square that is just zero then y minus y that's zero that's zero square zero square is still zero so we have zero equals to zero so that means the solution to this problem now is x equals to y equals zero that means our x is zero y is zero thank you for joining us and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now